Hey guys, it's Rachel. I'm back with another box update for you today. This one is the Goodwill Blue Box denim box that I showed you guys a couple months ago. Now, I will link the video here if you want to see the original. I said I would show you guys live what I got out of the box. You know, as I was opening it, we would see the items together for the first time. And then I would update you after 90 days if I thought it was a good box based on how the items sold or performed in my online stores. So I am a part-time reseller and I list items. I source items online uh, with mystery boxes or liquidation. I also thrift and then I sell the items online for profit. So I ordered this box from goodwillbluebox.com. It was 10 to 12 pieces of denim. I think this box ended up having 12 pieces in it and it was $25 with free shipping. So the first box I ordered uh, from Goodwill Blue Box was a denim box and it was amazing. It had some really, really great stuff in there. And so this was another one that I had ordered $25 with free shipping for 10 pair of jeans. That's a relatively low risk. So I decided to give it a try and get another one. And I I believe in the video, I was <laughs> I was not super happy. I was kind of disappointed in what came in there. Um, I decided I was gonna give the items their fair shot and list them anyway, but I kind of had a feeling the box was not gonna be all that great just based on what was in there. So I ended up actually listing only six of the 12 items. The other six were not in, um, they either were just too like out of date, out of style, or just not in sellable condition. So only six of the items got listed. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen over here. And I'll show you guys what sold and how much I got for it. So let me start sharing my screen. Okay, screen sharing is started. So I am going to go in the order of least profitable to most profitable uh, so I can show you everything. Now, all six of these items uh, are no longer listed. I sold five out of the six and one out of the six I ended up sending back to ThreadUp or to ThreadUp um, after the 90 days. So the first two are the Style & Co jeans, the brown and the green. I really did think, okay, like worst case scenario, they're both the same size. So maybe there's a buyer out there that's looking for this size specifically and that they will purchase both of these which is exactly what happened, um, except it didn't happen until I put them on auction for 99 cents. Um, I put a bunch of stuff on auction right before I pulled it entirely, figuring at least if I get a dollar for it, I'm making a little bit of money back and it's boosting my eBay stats and my ratings um, by making a transaction. So, um, Somebody did bid on both of these. I have it recorded as $4 for each just because I didn't combine the shipping for the buyer, but I was able to put them both in the same package. So it ended up being $4 for each uh, because once I calculated out, averaged out the cost per item of the items I did list, they ended up costing me $4.17 each item in this box. So it was a little bit of a loss here. Um, I didn't think I was going to sell these at all, to be completely honest. So I'm not super mad about it. I feel like I did get my money back for the most part on these two pair of jeans. The next were these Ralph Lauren, um, which actually these are one of the higher profit. Well, there's only five things in here. These Ralph Lauren um, purple relaxed fit jeans. These are the ones you see in the thumbnail. Um, they were really cool. They gave me kind of 90s vibes, and I actually sold them on Poshmark for $25. Um, I did offer free shipping, so $25 with free shipping, but again, I felt like these were going to have to go to the right buyer, and I don't know how long it was going to take for the right buyer to come along. So I figured I wasn't going to probably get another offer like this anytime soon, and I was shooting for that 90-day window. So I just took it, 25 free shipping. This is the pair of Lucky Brand Brooke Legging Jeans. And actually these sold pretty quick. What did they take? They sold in four days and $28 free shipping on Mercari. Um, these were under a pound, so $6 shipping. Um, so $22 profit. So that was everything. 
little short and sweet video for us today. Um, five items sold, one item was donated back. The whole box is gone. Again, I am a volume seller. You've probably, if you follow me, you've heard me say that. I am willing to let things go at a lower cost or a lower profit just to get it out of here and move it. I get stuff in and in and in, and I my business model involves quick flips. So I didn't wanna see any of this stuff sit more than 90 days. The one good thing about this box here is that nothing sat for more than 90 days except the one thing which I did just opt to donate. They, they were the Jordache jeans. They sat for 90 days with like zero interest. So I didn't, I put them on auction. I think they cycled three times never sold so i just donated them so total on this box i paid 25 free shipping okay so like total low cost of goods so that's that's good right um total profit and there's nothing left to sell so the total profit on this box is 48 dollars. so i just under doubled my money um my goal is always to triple. I was hoping for more like $75 out of this box so that I spent 25, but I made 50. That did not happen. Although it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought I was gonna just make my 25 back and like that was it. Like the Lucky Brain jeans, I thought were gonna be the only thing that actually sold, which wasn't the case. So not as bad as I thought, but still, not great. Um, definitely not great as the first one I got, which I unfortunately don't have a video for. Um, would I order this again? I don't know. Never say never. I might, but I'm going to say probably not just because, you know, I do a lot of thrifting. I, I don't have a trouble getting inventory. And so this for, for 20 bucks, this was totally just a chore. So I may like they have um like like men's clothes and kids clothes and women's clothes like all kinds of stuff and so maybe I'll try a different one to see if it comes out better but I have a feeling that they just take the things that have been sitting on their shelves that they're rotating out and they put them in these boxes and sell them which is great and you know if you're doing DIY or something like that and you need denim or if you need scrap clothes to tie-dye t-shirts and stuff like that or if you're just looking to like get it for yourself, I mean, I think um, they're great. I do think they're great. I think it's a good way to get rid of stuff, not get rid of, it's a good way to, um, to repurpose things, to give life to things that are otherwise going in a landfill, right? So um, not a bad option out there, probably not a good option for me as a reseller. So. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this box. Um, have you ever ordered Goodwill Blue Box? I know it's a relatively newer sourcing option. So let me know what you think. Please drop this video a like. If you want me to keep doing these, you are my encouragement. You let me know what you like to see and subscribe to my channel. I've got a few more, um, the updates coming up of boxes I've unboxed in the recent past here. Um, I'll also show you my thrift hauls, my what sold videos, basically my whole reseller life I'll put on this channel. So hopefully it helps you um, learn from me and, and what my journey has been. So I appreciate you watching if you're still watching and I will see you in the next one.